What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In Dragon's Dogma 2, as you prepare for the end game, you will need a lot of Worm's Life Crystals, which is a resource that you get by killing Drakes. This is an upgrade resource that you need to buy some of the best items in the game. And in this video today, I'm going to share the location of all of the Drakes that I farm as I prepare for the end game. Let's go. So first things first, just a slight disclaimer before we get started with the locations, but I've played this game on two different profiles. And something interesting that I've discovered is that it, when it comes to the drakes and their locations, certain drakes are visible and findable on both profiles. And in some cases, I can find a drake at a specific location on the one profile, but not on the other. Now, I suspect this is to do with the fact of where these drakes travel. And I think it also matters where you kill them the first time and then repeated visits every seven days after that when they respawn, basically spawn them very close to the place where you originally encountered them the first time. So therefore, I'll be splitting this video into two parts. The first six drakes are the ones which I can find on both profiles, and I foresee no problem in you also finding them quite easily. And then the last four drakes, bringing up to us to a grand total of 10, the last four will be ones that I can find on one of my profiles, but not on the other, and likely the same thing will happen for you. So starting us out and i will try to put these in a logical order that you can build a route out of it i also do just at this point want to mention that of course you can farm these by simply killing a drake and resting seven days and coming back and they will respawn so this is something that you can do infinitely given enough time so when you look at harv over here just north of harv you have some ruins these ruins often have some humans and goblins inside them but every seven days you will have a drake that spawns here as well which you can murder and claim his materials for yourself next up and to the north of that exact position kind of like halfway between sacred arbor and between half you have this sort of like river bend here where you have this you know bunch of roads coming together and there's a drake that spawns right next to this river here against this cliff which you can also farm kill and have fun with then all the way to the right side of vermont you have the nameless village if you have a thief vocation or you've messed around with this you will know this location as this is where you unlock the let's say ultimate skills of the thief vocation but more specifically to the left of this and slightly up you have this ruined area here just above this river and here you will also find a drake that you can farm then moving us on to the second continent and where you have Bak Patal sitting over here. Again, if you go all the way to the left, you have this little sort of like locked off valley that you can access by coming along this little river here. And right in the middle of this area, basically to the left of this dark beast den, you will also find a drake that you can kill for his worm life crystals. Then for our last two, getting us to our grand total of six guaranteed drakes, we will be moving all the way to the third continent, which is the volcanic island. Now, if you have the volcanic island camp over here to the north of this there is an area right by the beach and you have a drake that spawns on this beach that you can kill and harvest then for our second drake on the volcanic island in this area that i've taken to calling the trench so this is kind of like a little bit right and down from the volcanic island camp you will have this lava trench that sits over here and as you peer over the edge here you will spot a drake in that trench there that you can also murder and farm so then moving us on to the four drakes which i can find on one of my profiles and not on the other so these ones you should absolutely try and see if you can get them if we look at the oracle which is in the second continent right by bach Patal, to the north of it this is of course the area where you unlock the trickster vocation just below that there's also this riverbed kind of area and a drake spawns right there in that riverbed which you can also kill then also on the same continent, still sticking close to Bak Patal, as part of the story, you will go all the way to the southwest towards the Dragon's Breath Tower. Now in, as part of your quest here, you will fight a Drake at the top of Dragon's Breath Tower. And on one of my profiles, I can come back to this tower every seven days. And there is a Drake at the top floor of this Dragon's Breath Tower that I can farm. Then all the way to the north, well, let's not say all the way to the north, but if you look at Checkpoint Rest Town over here, you have down and to the left of it you have this sort of like valley area which has a massive waterfall that you can come either from the north or the south to now right down here there's also a drake that spawns for me and then last but not least to the north of checkpoint rest town you of course have the ancient battlegrounds now the first time you come here you will find a drake here doing battle with a cyclops 
and repeated visits every seven days can have a drake continually spawning here right close to this ballista which sits to the left side of the ancient battleground happy hunting and that's it for the video thank you so much for watching if you found this useful in any way please consider liking subbing and commenting on the video as well as checking the description of this video for a link to a discord server of like-minded gamers if you want to join i also stream on kick every tuesday wednesday and thursday love to see you over there but as always it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world till next video fucking cheers